Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. This is Engrave Lab, and I'm going to be talking to you how to edit the INI file. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go under Help About Engrave Lab and hold down the, I believe it's the Alt I. Yes, it is the Alt I. Uh, note that when you change the INI file, uh, it won't take effect till you restart, but this is the easiest way to find it. So I'm going to click on OK. And here's the CAD link INI file. Now, you could have done it another way. You could have just gone to your C drive. Where's my C drive? And gone to wherever you're working. I've got a couple of directories, but I know the one I'm working in is this Pro 8. And I could have gone to the CAD link INI. Press the letter C. And you can see it's sometimes hard to find. Also, sometimes if your views are not turned on, you will not find this particular file. So you could have done it that way or through the software. And let's see, where am I at? Okay, now what you want to do, you want to go under Edit, and you want to go down to Find. And the easiest way is just type in Plotter and click on Next. Uh, find Next. Um, let me cancel. Uh, it's a little hard to see on my screen here, Ivy. So I'm going to go under Edit, Find, Plotter, Find Next. And here's Plotter Setup. I'm not sure why it's not highlighted there. On yours it will be. Cancel. Oh, there it is. Anyways, here's the word Plotter. And here's the Plotter Setup. Uh, it has device used, number of devices, and then these are all your uh, INI files that I have loaded on my uh, computer or software. Now let's say that I wanted to add an additional one. I could go to my hard drive and let's say I knew which one I wanted to add. And these are all INIs. And I'm just looking for one to add. So anyways, if I wanted to, where's my, go down to my cues. If I wanted to add this driver, I'm going to just hit, I can either remember exactly what this is, or I can hit F2 to rename, and then copy that, and then, of course, not rename it. Then I'm going to come over here, and of course, I've already got that one in there, but I could have two versions of it. I hit Control V. And then I have to change the number of devices to 12. And still, the device that's going to be used is number 1. And then I go to close it out and, of course, save it. Now, when I shut down Engrave Lab, I don't want to save Untitled, and start it up again. We'll soon find out what happens if engrave engraving defaults setup and you can see I have the Q1 DAT driver there and then I have it also down here so it, it did install both of them now the reason that you would that you would do the INI editing is because sometimes or uh, engrave lab or CAD link really handles their drivers poorly if you go under file install and install drivers it will either overwrite your existing drivers or delete them. So whenever adding a, a driver, this is the direction that I go. And possibly in version 9 that's been corrected, but certainly version 8 and before, it's an issue. Hope this